these men are contributing to a community development project. They are working for a healthier future for their family and friends. They know that poor quality water can make them sick, so they are helping implement a project to teach a new way of disinfecting water called SODUS. Water is women's business in PNG, so students from the University of Melbourne worked with the women and children to introduce the new concept. There is no shortage of people interested in taking part. Normally water is drawn from groundwater springs, unlike this water which was from a rainwater tank. Um, was using the bottles? Yeah, and, and I gave her two bottles. Yeah, and I told her to fill fill those two bottles with uh, water. Yes, and leave it in the sun. Yeah, I say um, a full sun, a full sun, and then uh, in the morning, early in the morning at six o'clock, she comes out and, and brings them inside and put them inside. The okay, house. just for drinking, not for cooking. Yes, yes, and. Um, do you, uh, do you know if she is still using those bottles? Yeah, uh, she's still using them. Still using them? Yeah. And does she find the water good to drink? Yeah, yep. yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And um, has her baby um, been healthy? Um, yeah, you, they, the, the, the um, three of them are right. We want all the women to come up. The men have finished preparing the table on which the water will be disinfected. The method uses ultraviolet light and heat from the sun to kill microbes in the water. The method, called SODUS, short for solar disinfection, is being promoted as an affordable way for families to take control of their own water quality. So, um, one day with the sun, two days now the practical part is over, it is time to move to the classroom. We would like you to do some, just some posters to put up around the health centre, um, letting the other villagers know what happens when you drink dirty water. So, um, you might draw a person with a sore tummy, or you might draw water with germs. Or we'll maybe get in groups. Posters the children made in the primary school were displayed in the health centre waiting area and on the sodas table. For many days after, villagers quietly came to look at the posters and discuss the merits of the idea. Because the group from Melbourne could only bring a limited amount of treated drinking water to the village, this became our supply of disinfected drinking water. <laughs>